welcome to the podcast by Flying Jurist, where we say that you are infinitely blessed and unashamedly African. This is where we discuss things related to an individual's growth and development, how an individual can move forward in terms of pushing towards the goal they've had for, for so many years in their life. Now, at Flying Jurist, this is what we believe in. We believe that every hour in your life counts towards you moving closer to your goal in other words it depends on what you want to do with your life it depends on what you want to do with your time what do you do every hour so that is why our mantra is with every hour your goal back on because we believe that every hour depending on how you use it how you decide to use that hour how what you decide to invest in that hour of your time will take you towards the achievement of your particular goal so we then we go with the mantra that with every hour your goal beckons now we want to take people to the level of living a goal-oriented life do not live life just simply for the sake of living or simply for the sake of being counted as being alive. But you must live your life, um, you know, working consciously and purposively and intently towards a stated goal. And that goal must be what consumes you every hour of the day. So with every hour the cockpit beckons, how do you become goal-oriented? First of all, you determine what is this goal that you really want to achieve be clear about it don't just go for a hazy goal and when we ask you about the goal you really don't know what's happening you really don't know you know what 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 exactly it is that you want to achieve so once you have clarity on what exactly you want to achieve sometimes the how um, can be clear and at other times the how may not necessarily be clear it doesn't matter once you've identified the goal you want to move towards begin moving even if the how is not clear yet begin moving towards your goal keep going towards your goal you see the way the universe is designed is such that if there is movement the universe will conspire to give you everything you need to move towards your goal and achieve that particular goal the ideas that we have as human beings are not necessarily ideas that yes we think these ideas come from deep down inside us but these are inspired ideas it is our fundamental belief at flying jurist that whatever idea you have whatever goal you have it was given to you by the universe and the universe is time bound the things of the universe are time bound if you are given an idea at a particular time if you are given a goal to work towards at a particular time and you refuse or you delay in undertaking that goal the universe will simply take away that idea and hand it over to someone who's willing and ready to run with that goal to fruition so when you are given a particular goal make sure you identify the goal you know what goal it is that you're going to be working towards and secondly make sure that you don't delay you don't procrastinate you don't spend years and years and years and years speaking about this idea that you have speaking about this glorious goal that you have Make sure that once the goal is given to you, once the idea is given to you, you are running with it. Because if you don't, you are not the only person in the universe who can actualize that dream. The universe will divert that dream. The universe will take that dream away from you and give it to someone who's willing and ready to run with that goal and to achieve it. Now, what can be the or what are the things that prevent people from achieving their goals or from bringing to life the ideas that the universe grants them? Now, we know that goal orientation is lacking in a number of people in, in our society. This is a phenomenon that you need to study further and understand why are people lacking in dreams? Why are people lacking in goal orientation? Why are people lacking in the, in the, in the, in the area of conceptualizing a goal and making it clear and actually following through with it? But a large number of our population is happy where they are. They do not aspire to move to the next level. They do not aspire to take these goals that they are given, these ideas that they are given and breathe life into them. Now, the major, major thing that will push your goals forward is that whatever it is that has been revealed to you by the universe, you must want it for yourself. You must desire it. 
it must consume you day in and day out. It must be something without which you can't even breathe. It must be something um, whose absence makes your life completely meaningless. I always talk about the universe giving you these ideas. Sometimes these are ideas that will come in the form of a thought. You are sitting there and a brilliant thought comes out and that particular thought forms the very basis, the very core of your dream or your goal. Sometimes the universe will send someone to you, someone who will speak a particular idea to you, someone who will suggest a particular idea to you. So when that happens, you need to be ready to run with that particular goal. The universe can use anything and anyone. It can use people, it can use whatever is available at your disposal to bring to you the idea that you must pursue to make your life complete. When that happens, you must run with that idea because that idea will be taken and given to someone who's willing to give life to it and to do justice to that particular goal. Quite often when, when, when the universe sends to you an individual who speaks an idea into your life, it is not, an, 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 you know, that declaration from that individual is not an empty, you know, speaking into your life. Quite often that individual has observed you, has interacted with you, and has seen potential in you, has seen qualities in you that you yourself are not aware of. Now, when that happens, most people in fact, those who do not want it for themselves are unable to wrap their minds around what this individual is telling about themselves, what this individual has seen about their capabilities and their potential. If that happens, then that the goal that the universe has sent to you is likely to go to waste. But if the universe sends an individual to you to speak into your life, to excite a particular goal in your life, to show you another aspect of your life or another potential aspect of your life that could be only if you can take this goal and run with it. What, when that happens, you need to be ready to want it for yourself. Most often, people will fail to understand or fail to see the how part of it. They, they will have heard the, the what from the person who's speaking to them, who's depositing this idea into their life. But the how, how do we achieve this, how do we get there, is quite often the confusing part for most people. And that is the threshold at which most dreams die. Because the how requires you to first deal with the why. In other words, once you ask yourself, why should I leave the state of poverty? Why should I become wealthy? Why should I break a generational curse of poverty, you know, century after century after century? Why should I live a meaningful life? Why should I build airports? Why should I build the next generation of technology? Why should I invent something that has never been seen before? Once you, you get an answer to that existential question, the why, the how will not matter. In most instances, the how is not yours to worry about. I mean, if you dig deeper into the, 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 the theories or the teachings of many scholars, of, of many teachers of religion, of many teachers of spirituality, whatever spiritual grouping you belong to, you will discover that all these teachers of spirituality agree on one thing, even if they disagree on so many things. But there is one thing they agree on, that your task is to have this idea and to want this idea, to desire this idea. And once you've desired it and to purposely live towards achieving it and to believe that you will indeed achieve it, the how is not your part. If you take the Christian teaching, for instance, Jesus really preaches and all the teachers before him and after him teach the same thing, that it is a thought that you must first um, you know, harbor in your mind. Once you have harbored that thought, you must then purpose, you know, to, to actually achieve that thought and believe that that particular thought you've had in your mind will indeed come to life. Even if you're then going to ahead to go ahead and pray about it, his teachings are that when you pray about it, you must believe that it has happened and it shall indeed happen. Every other teacher of spirituality teaches the same thing. It starts from the mind, an idea, a thought, a goal is planted in your mind. Once it is planted and your family and bona fide believe it is going to happen, the how is most often not your duty to determine. 
Yours is to determine the what and the why. When you know what it is that you need to be living towards, when you know what it is that you need to achieve in five years, when you know that it is what it is that you want to achieve in ten years, and why you must achieve that, why not achieving it will actually mess you up. Why achieving it will actually be an existential crisis for you. The how quite often just gets laid in front of you easily and freely like that. It is not the what or it is not the how that we must focus on as individuals but it is the what and the why. Once you know what you need to do and why you need to do it, the how will be provided for, to you by the universe. Because believe, I mean, because remember at the, the very beginning that the idea itself was not yours. The idea itself was given to you. Even the, 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 the universe gives you the idea, the what, because it knows that within you there is the why. The why is that thing that keeps you awake at night. The why is that thing that won't let you sleep. The why is that thing that will make you wake up so early in the morning when, that, when other people are snoring and dreaming and having nightmares. The why is what gets you up. The why is what makes it not matter for you whether it's a Sunday or a Saturday or whether it's a public holiday or a working day. The why is the one that keeps you going hour after hour after hour after hour. The why is what keeps you adding those hours. The why is what makes you believe firmly that with every hour that you invest into this goal of yours, you are getting closer and closer to achieving this particular goal. So you've got to want it for yourself. Many things can prevent us from wanting it for ourselves. Sometimes our background will prevent us from wanting it for ourselves. We come from villages. We come from downtrodden spaces where we never saw people achieving much. Where we never saw people going beyond a particular threshold. Some of us were unable to imagine a life beyond that particular threshold. Some of us were taught and we believed for some years that certain thresholds could only be reached by people from a certain color of people from a certain religious people for people from a certain geographical area we internalized and we ran with those beliefs that were taught to us our background matters but at some point you've got to take responsibility and break ranks with your background at some point you've got to take responsibility and say this is me i'm redesigning myself i'm reclaiming and i'm re-identifying myself i shall no longer be held back by my background even if people from my village could never have gone beyond a particular threshold, I shall be the first one to move beyond that threshold. Even if I die trying, but that would mean that I have laid the foundation for the generation after me to actually begin to move towards the goal that I had set of moving beyond that threshold. And they, because I've laid the foundation, will take it a little bit step further because they already have a head start and they will indeed penetrate and break through that particular barrier. We need to disengage with our background. We need to turn our background on its head. We need to divorce our background because our background does not define us. We need to understand that we have the power to define ourselves. We need to understand that we have the power to recalibrate and re-identify ourselves in order to reach the goals that we seek to reach. We need to understand that the why that is gnawing at our brain and our hearts, the why that is always tormenting us, is the one that will give us the impetus to break through, the impetus to break free from our backgrounds. As we say at Flying Jurist, with every hour your goal beckons. Whatever hour you have, Ask yourself, what is it contributing towards the goal that I have at hand? Ask yourself, what am I doing with this hour, these 60 minutes that I carry, that I have at my disposal to contribute towards my particular goal? If you continuously adopt that reflexive approach to life, where you reflect, where you have you know, a look back into your life and you ask these questions, you pose these questions and you answer honestly. If you've been lazy, you need to pick up your, 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 your yourself and move towards achieving this goal. If you've not been doing enough, you need to put more hours into you know, the journey towards your goal. And if you do that, indeed, you shall be great again. Indeed, you shall reclaim your greatness. Indeed, your goal shall be achieved. And as we say at Flying Jurist, we are infinitely blessed and ultimately African. We shall reclaim this continent of Africa. We shall take it forward. But only if we believe in the agency of ourselves as Africans and as children of the almighty God. Angela Dubia signing out and saying cheers.